I'm making up the drying station for my dog, one of them, Velk, and this is his station. And then, hello, he disappeared. <laughs> you don't want a bath? Sure you do. You know you do. You get good food after that. So, I know you haven't enrolled your dog yet, but I just want to show you this bathtub I use for mine. Um, I train him to jump in there. This is a booster bath, and I have it, uh, it's basically a back saver, wonderful thing, and I give my dogs baths once a week. So um, what I did because of the cold weather uh, and just otherwise because I don't want my dogs to have an ice cold bath is I connected this hose to, well, I'm lucky that I have a outlet right here in, in the house. Um, and right next to it is a pl is my washing machine. So I set it up so I can turn the knobs and get hot and cold water together so I have warm baths for the dogs. But, you know, this is an option. And you can also, it's good because you can feel your dog's paws to see if there's anything uh, in between them and you feel their, you know, bumps and see if there's any bumps under the fur or around the face, you get to look in the eyes, etc. But um, when you're giving a dog a bath, that's one of the main things besides getting them clean. But this bath is about $200. It's on Amazon, um, and it's fabulous. But you have to get the extra large, because they do have different sizes. Uh, easy to put up. And I keep this bathtub outside with uh, a... Um, grill, a barbecue, cover on it to protect it. After the baths, I make sure that the, the um, bathtub is completely dry because once I didn't do that and then a week later there was a lot of moldy stuff in there which cleaned off but you can see lots of white marks because of the Clorox. Anyway, um, training the dog to jump in and take the bath is just the big, the, the big part but it can be fun because um, I make my own shampoos. I get unscented and I mix it with other scents and that way um, it's a good smell while you're, if you enjoy flavorful aromas, which I don't. <laughs> I know in the house there's no, can it's an unscented world, but for the shampoo, the reason I do this is because I can um, minimize the smell but still have enough where it's, I can smell it and not get sneezy. So that works um, here. And then also I do the ears. So I have my ear stuff here. And this, comes, this piece comes with the, with the um, booster bath. Okay, and this is what I use for my dogs are short-coated. So. But anyway, um, we're going to get started here. But I just wanted to show you this bath. It's a bathtub. It's a very good uh, tool for homeowners that want to do homeowners I guess you can't have one in, a, in an apartment so you have to have a yard but anyway let's see if my boy is going to come are you going to take your bath now I took your collar off so let's go come on come on Velky let's go come on up you go come on he's got this is tripe okay so I was trying to bring you around that way you have a head start here okay now up 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 up, up. Nice, thank you. There's your tripe. Okay, sometimes he flips me off and spits it out. <laughs> Today he's going to eat it. Good. Okay. Good. All right, so we're ready. I don't have a leash, which sucks. Now I have to start over. I forgot. I doubt this, but it'll be interesting. Can you stay? He's not going to. Stay. I thought I grabbed the leash on the way out. Wait. Just stay there. Stay. I'm not going far. Stay. I usually don't repeat a million times, but here's my leash. Okay, great. All right, now i got to shut the door again. Everybody stay. See, I'm, like, surprised because I've never done this before with him. This is distance work. 
Good boy. And I put a leash on because when we're done, I want to walk him in the house. I don't want him to run all over and wipe his head on the grass and his body. So there we go. Okay, put this on and we're going to have a bath. Good boy. So he stayed. Guess what? He's going to get a couple of these. All right. And now we're going to have the bath. Good job. So yes, he's got his bath. Uh, he's fuzz soaked up. And the reason I mentioned the um, scent of the uh, shampoo is that as well as dogs like to have rewards, so he's going to get food while he's having his bath and also when he's done, but people too. So we want to look forward to something. So if you like smell since aromas, then you can have that to look forward to when you give your dog a bath. You know, if you don't, then I suggest putting on some music or uh, a podcast or something like that. But, you know, giving the bath once he's trained can be a nice bonding experience for you and your dog. And um, there's pleasure in both because you get a clean dog and then um, he's going to get food for his good behavior. And then you get um, something too. Either you get to smell or uh, smell the uh, shampoo or as I really like being out in nature. So I've got it set up where this is a nice area to um, just enjoy the outdoors. But um, you can, like I said, listen to something or whatever. But, yeah, that's why a bath is, uh, can be fun for both the owner and the, and the uh, dog if you um, work on it. Generally, I take a soap and just wipe around here. Uh, you can wash, use a washcloth, but right now I'm ready to rinse. But you have to make sure and clean the face, but don't get it in the eyes, especially when you're rinsing off. Put your hands, I put my hands up over here when I'm rinsing off or here so that it doesn't get in the eyes. But, um, yeah, I kiss my dogs. So, you know, I want to, st if you forget to clean this area, then you're just going to keep getting more and more dirt that you get to kiss. <laughs> All right, he says, will you just get this over with already? I'm over, I'm over being a star. Okay, so he's done with the wet part. This is his favorite part of being in the bath is the, um, ah, nope. I also have to keep an eye because you can tell. Where's my... You can tell when they're about ready to jump. Oh, wow. Here. All right, are you ready for your bath, Olink? I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Or whatever that is. Okay, you have to jump in, though. I've got... Yeah, I know. She's She's waiting. She's very good, too. You want another one? Because you're so good? Yep. You just want to help yourself, huh? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> you got my finger. I'm going to wipe that stuff off. Okay, one more, and then we're going to get going here. All right. going to shake this off. No. <laughs> no. She's really bitey today. I'm going to do that instead of putting it, giving it, instead of giving it to her like this, like this. That way I won't get my fingers nipped. Okay. So she got her bath. Now it's dry off time. Bath and ear cleaning for both of them. Good job. So after we're done with the bath, they get a nice big chunky treat. This is a brachia. No, yeah, beef trachea. And I'm going outside. So he's just going to bury his right now because he doesn't like being in there. <laughs> he does not want to be in there. <laughs> so he's going to use his nose. So what he's trying to do now is bury the tree. He'll eat it once I let him out. This is hilarious. I've not seen him do this before. He's um, So this is called caching. When they bury their uh, food in the house or anywhere, and they want it later. Okay, I'm going to let you out. 
because you're, yeah, you're going to get your food. Yeah, now he's going to take it and he's going to go do. I'm going to finish, I have to go outside and finish cleaning. After the bath, they both get beef trachea, big pieces. I mean, they're huge. It doesn't take them that long to eat, is it? She's in there in the drying station. All right, I got, oh, look at her foot as well. <laughs> oh, well. And so this is the contraption I made inside with the, so this is the hot water that I never use and I just wash with cold. And then this is the cold. And this connects the hose outside. So I turn on the hot and switch it on. I don't know how it works, but it took me a while to work, figure it out. And once I figured it out, I left it. No, don't ask me, but it works. <laughs> Post bath run by Belkin. All right. Did they go pot run? This is mandatory. I guess not. I guess it's just the pee time. All right. That was fabulous. Didn't you pee before the bath? Doesn't seem like it, does it? No! That's the exact cheek that I kiss. Are you done? All right, come on back in. Seriously, we just had a bath. Thank you. She finds the stinkiness places, which I know she's going to do. She's going to rub. But not right after the bath. Let me enjoy at least a day of clean-faced dog. Look at that bird. What? Oops. All right, ready? Ready?